Welcome back to my channel, Osama's Kitchen. Today I will show you guys how I prepared my meat pie. It's a popular thing, it's popular food, popular snacks. <laughs> popular snacks in Nigeria. I do, and uh, other countries do it a lot. So I will show you guys how I made mine. So I don't know if I'm wrong or is the right way. So guys, you will leave your comment on the se comment section. So if I'm right or if I forget to put hard anything, so you can leave your comment on the comment section. <laughs> I just speak English. We do say to that, but we are able to get a gachi. So guys, so you know I would do it here. Yeah. So we always laugh, we always joke before we start our our teaching, our cooking. So guys, let's see what we have for this recipe and see how it goes. I pray, make I remember <laughs> to add my girl salt. But not still remember, not still remember for my comment social. So if today now if you come across our video, and so we did one here. So please don't forget to hit that notification button, that red button with on that, that subscription button, subscription, <laughs> subscribe button, like our video and also share. So if you've been in the family, I say welcome back. You know I love you guys. You guys are amazing. You are amazing. You are amazing. I love you all. So let's go to the kitchen and see what we got. Bye. Now my ingredient be this: my meat, potato, carrots, flour, butter, onion, my yeast, and also my seasoning powders and salt. Let's get started. So I will go ahead and sieve my flowers, filter my flour. The reason I'm filtering this flour now to prevent lumps from it. So I wouldn't want to have lungs when mixing my dough. So that is how it's supposed to look like when filtering your flour. Then I'll go ahead and also filter my yeast as well. Note, this yeast I'm using is different from the yeast I used on my previous video, the one I did make bread. If you haven't watched that video, go and check my playlist, you will see the video there. Then I will mix everything together so that everything will unify together. Then I'll go ahead and add my butter. You can see, you can see at the beginning of this video, I didn't add any salt because this butter is already sorted on its own. Then I'll go ahead and work with my flour, with my hand. Oh, Ma, I try to do. I don't speak English this year. <laughs> so. I say it's supposed to be, be like Gary, if you don't miss something, finish some more. Then I'll go ahead and add my mix. Sorry, guys, say I don't show my mix for the beginning of the video. I know some of them will say hey, this guy here they speak English to do. Once I want to speak and finish, I don't go speak. <laughs> Sorry, guys, you know I will do it here. So I'll go ahead and work with my dough, just play with it until it gets to the way I want it to be. So guys, the reason why some people they say if they do their meat pie, they think not the break like they sticky like bread. Now you're mixing. If your mix is not go well, your meat pie not go go well. That's just the secret. So I will go ahead and add more milk because it never really reach what I want to make it be. So I will still go ahead and work on it. So if you want to make your meat pie day crunchy, make it a break, watch this video to the end. So guys, you see as I don't mix some nice, they very very thick, not too thick, not too fluffy. I say very very thick. So it will be like a buffer hand, like fufu, like few few. 
<laughs> so that's so and then i'll cover around make it work on itself at least for one hour or 30 because the instant yeast i use then i'll add my oil and my onion together to fry i'll fry it for at least two minutes then i'll continue, just uh, continue stirring to avoid burning so i'll go ahead and add my meat my grounded meat or more say this meat the red <laughs> so i'll go ahead and fry my meat and with some of my carrots then i'll just fry it till the color of my meat change to gray color so that's it guys i will keep on stirring without covering my meat at this moment so you see i'm saying the color don't they change that's what the color supposed to be oh more we don't change them for this meat we don't change them for your hand <laughs> now right before we don't turn gray you never see anything oh yeah it could begin continue at this process so i go leave her for just one minute make it settle down you see as it be so then i go come carry my carrots carry my potato adam carry my seasonings put them then i carry my maggi when i don't match adam my salt uncle i go adam you see i'm so and i say it's supposed to be then i go come mix them together better be careful when you are adding your salts dolly so that's it that will mix everything so that make sure my seasoning unified then i add a very little water so then i'll cover to cook at least for five minutes first then i'll go ahead and add my bonnet pepper sorry guys this bonnet pepper is a choice you can choose to skip it as for me i like feeling that pepperish oh my god <laughs> when eating so that was why i added my pepper so everything is almost done you can see the consistency how it looks you see the reason why i add little water because my veggies and my meat have already water already so i'll go ahead and cook again so while cooking for another five minutes i'll go ahead and mix my flour take one tablespoon of my flour mix with water then i will whisk everything together i will make sure everything wicks may lumps not the inside i will mix them together Oh yeah, we go carry them. We'll come pour off inside this meat where we boil so or more you see and so the reason why they do this one so so that make it for taking this meat so that the water not go they draw they come out if you put them for inside our paste. You understand? It's our flour, it's our paste. So now so guys, you see I'm very very beautiful, yummy. <laughs> so I don't prepare mine my dough for ground you see those small small dough so as my heart been as well i think the size of my hand now take my shoulder for them <laughs> so your cut according to your size because i don't get me spike cutter for house now you have to use my hand so if you still use your hand so make you not go to reason say what you want to cut your meat pie use your hand make sure i'm done so that all your meat pie will get the same shape <laughs> so guys now so what do you think about this video don't forget to leave them for our comment section and hit our subscribe button and also our notification bell so that when we upload new video you will be the first person to be notified so i'll go ahead and grease it with my egg to bring that shiny effect out meanwhile i already have my oven pre pre oh, pre hot anyway <laughs> for 180 degree so so that's so it be guys and so it just reach I want to share our video now. I want to show more love. Please, guys, love you guys. Know I love you all. My subscribers will fed their love, Una. The ones who see the con, the door open. I still love Una. So, see our meat pie? It's ready. Bon appetito. Cotto e mangiato.